suck at cooking, yeah, you totally suck. We're going to start this sandwich by grabbing a chunk of medium cheddar. Then you want to grab the cheese grater of your choice and an ice cold measuring cup or bowl. The M in medium cheddar stands for melty or maximum meltitude. Don't get long or short cheddar, that stuff never melts properly. And we'll grate around one cup. Then go ahead and whip that grater into the yard. And then you want to grab that salami. We're going to chop this salami. Oh, right. And then you want to grab that. No. Can you? Thank you. Now we're going to chop the salami so that when you bite into this sandwich, you don't cause a cheese squeeze by trying to rip the salami apart with your teeth. It's like having a toothpaste tube with no sides, which sucks unless your teeth are cylindrical. So we're going to let the knife do the chewing. And then we'll grab a wild ocean pickle because they taste, whoops, because they taste a lot better than wild tree pickles. And it should be around three pickle wits long or medium size. We're going to dice this so our sandwich has ubiquitous pickle tude. Then you want to grab some non-alcoholic Dijon mustard and we'll put in around a teaspoon. Then we'll grab some fresh hot sauce. Put in a small squirt. Now grab a naturally occurring fang jangler and give that a good wang jangle. Whoops. Now you want to take some fresh solar dried bread. And while we all know that bread is inherently evil, it's a necessary evil because without it, your sandwich won't have a floor or a ceiling. Now we'll grab some farmed rainforest butter and spread that on one side of each slice of bread. Now we're going to cook this low and slow by turning the stove top on medium low slowly and get that first one into the pan. You can't rush a grilled cheese and it's pan fried, not grilled. Congratulations. Your life is a lie. Now we'll spread our chopped salami cheese mixture across that slice. I'm a firm believer in not trying to get it all on the bread in the first place. Just hock it in there, then use a two prong system to fix it. The first prong being your four prong fork and the second prong being your no prong spoon. Now, if I was an interior designer using the colors of orange, green, and salami to decorate a room, I'd say I'm probably unemployed and nobody feels sad about it. Now just throw on the sandwich ceiling. Now you want to grab a nice flat wang jet. Whoops. You want to grab a nice, whoop, that's tiny wang jangler. I can never remember. Oh, there we go. I really need to label these. So we'll just pretend it was rolling when I did the first flip. You want to cook that until it's golden brown and nice and melty and we're done. Now quick impression. Who am I? It's not technically a grilled cheese unless it's only cheese, bread, and butter. If you put anything else in it, it's a melt, not a grilled cheese. Correct. That's an impression of a sad, sad person, also known as a bit of a purist. Now my eyes are telling me I cooked this just a bit too long, but my taste buds are telling my eyes to go f themselves because that sandwich is goddamn perfect. Lay down the floor, then hack into the ceiling. Take a bite, such a good feeling. Better than a vegetable, don't eat feeling. Push it in that sandwich, eat it while you're kneeling. Throw your forks and knives in the trash. The sandwiches don't require tools like that. If you wanna eat a steak, that was probably a bad decision to make. You should go and get them back. Of all of the foods you can hold in your hand, the sandwich is the one that's way better than any other that fits in the grip of your fist as you stuff it into the hole above your chin. Yeah.